In this video, I will be recapping Venom's journey so far in the Sony Pictures universe of Marvel characters in under 5 minutes. I thought I'd do this in honour of no one caring about Madam Web. Start the timer, let's get right into it. Our journey starts off with 2018's Venom. The movie starts off with a crash of a space probe belonging to the Life Foundation, which just so happens to be carrying the symbiotic life forms. These life forms are recovered by the Life Foundation, who are bad by the way. Eddie Brock is an investigative journalist who investigates our bad guy, Carlton Drake, about the human trials using the Symbiotes. This leads to Eddie and his girlfriend slash fiance Anne both losing their jobs and breaking up. Many months later, Eddie then meets up with Dora. No, not that one. She then tells Eddie that she wants to expose Drake over the unethical human trials, and the two then break into the research facility. And Eddie learns that one of his friends, a homeless woman named Maria, is being tested on. Eddie tries to free her, but the symbiote latches onto him, and he doesn't realize that Maria dies. Eddie then goes to visit Anne, who is now dating Dr. Dan Lewis, and the effects of this venom symbiote starts to show. He starts looking for live meat to eat. Dora is then killed by another symbiote, Drake then sends men after Eddie in order to retrieve the symbiote and we get our first look at Venom. Venom then explains to Eddie about how Eddie is a host and that they need to find Drake's rocket. Eddie then sends the evidence to his old boss with the aid of Venom, leading to yet another chase. Anne then finds out about Venom. Riot, which is the symbiote that was used to kill Dora, then bonds to Drake. Dan then tells Eddie that Venom is killing him and Anne fires a really loud frequency causing Venom to be removed from Eddie's body. Drake then captures Eddie whilst Venom bonds to Anne to save Eddie. Eddie and Venan share a kiss, with Venom being the ultimate wingman, and Venom says that he has decided to stay because like Eddie, he too is a loser. Meanwhile, Drake, who is now bonded with Riot, launches a rocket to the symbiote's home planet to return with an invasion fleet, and our heroes try to stop this plan. Venom and Riot fight each other with the usual stakes at play, Venom blows up the ship containing Riot, and since fire is the symbiote's weakness, Riot dies and so does Drake. Eddie then makes a deal with Venom that he can only eat bad people, we then see Mrs. Chen's store get robbed, and we see them dropped the best line of the film. We. Ah, Venom. The post credit scene shows the scene from Into the Spider-Verse, but we don't care about that. Instead, we care about this one, which shows Cletus Cassidy, a serial killer, which leads us to our next film, Venom Let There Be Carnage. The film opens on a flashback of young Cletus as he watches his love, Francis, being taken away from the orphanage to the Ravenscroft Institute. On the way there, she uses her powers of sound manipulation and attacks a young Patrick Mulligan, who loses his hearing abilities too. In the present day, Mulligan calls up on Eddie to interview Cletus once again, since he's the only one that Cletus will talk to. Venom then uses his photographic memory to find out where the body of Cassidy's victims are. This then makes Eddie super famous, thus prompting a ban on the death sentence to be lifted, and Cletus is given the death sentence, to which he is obviously not happy, and invites Eddie to meet, and Anne reveals to Eddie that she is engaged to Dr. Dan. Eddie then once again visits Cassidy, who then angers Eddie so much that Venom goes to attack Cassidy, who then bites him and gets a taste of his blood. Then come the day of the execution, but right as the drugs are being injected into Cassidy, Carnage rejects the drug. The two then break out and kill everyone at the viewing, and then they make a deal. Cassidy will help Carnage Carnage kill Venom and Eddie, whilst Carnage will help Cassidy break Francis out of the Ravenscroft Institute. It feels important to state now that Carnage is in fact Venom's biological son, since all the other symbiotes on Earth die in Venom 1. As Cassidy and Carnage are making the deal, the opposite is happening with Eddie and Venom. The two then get into an argument, causing Venom to split from Eddie and breaks the Ducati in the process. Then Venom latches onto various hosts and ends up in a nightclub where he's treated like a saviour. Eddie is then arrested by Mulligan, who interrogates Eddie about Cassidy and the interviews, and calls for a really good lawyer. Nope, not Matt Murdock, sadly. But instead it's Anne, and Eddie tells her that Venom and him had a fight and Venom left him. Anne then heads to Mrs. Chen, who Venom is latched onto, and flirts with Venom to help him free Eddie. The two then make up under the supervision of Anne, and head to stop Carnage and Cassidy once and for all. Cassidy breaks Francis out of the institution, and we find out that Carnage is vulnerable to the Shriek that Shriek makes causing Cassidy and Carnage to argue. Then Cassidy and Shriek decide to get married and kidnap Anne and Mulligan as gifts for each other. Then the heroes arrive and Venom hides away, but Eddie says that Venom can eat them, so he agrees. We then see an awesome fight between Carnage and Venom, Shriek then Shrieks, which Carnage does not like, which creates further conflict between Cassidy and Carnage. And then we find out the reason why Venom and Eddie work so well is that because their relationship is symbiotic, which is something Carnage and Cassidy lack. Venom then wins the fight and eats Carnage and the head of Cassidy. The two then go on the run due to breaking out of jail and is revealed that Mulligan also perhaps has the symbiote. After a banging end credits song, we see that Venom and Eddie are chilling on a beach in Mexico and Venom talks about all the knowledge the symbiotes have collected over the billions of years that they have existed for. Then they teleport to the MCU where they see a news broadcast of J. Jonah Jameson talking about Peter Parker which nicely leads us to Venom's final appearance so far and that is Spider-Man No Way Home. He's basically just in the post credits scene and talks to the bartender about the history of the MCU and is determined to meet Spider-Man at which point he gets teleported back but leaves behind a bit of the symbiote for future use. Make sure to subscribe and check this video out about the journey we all went through before Noah Hill.